Hey everyone, it's Anthony Allen Ramos. Okay, so are you watching Cruel Summer? Well, you should be because let me tell you, it is so juicy, so good, and so many twists and everyone is obsessed with it. Everyone has a theory. Oh, happy birthday, Katie Cat. Uh, j just real quick, the lawyers are looking for a little bit more meat on the bones for your defense, especially after Tanya Peterson's deposition amounted to nothing. Miss Wallace has employed me as the keeper of her birthday today. The what? And as her birthday keeper, I am here to inform you that Miss Wallace will not engage today in any discussion about court or lawyers or anything legal or unpleasant. Okay, well, time is of the essence because court is right around the corner, so... Mm. We... That sounds distinctly legal and very unpleasant. And the first season on Freeform is wrapping up. And today I'm so excited to be talking to Harley Quinn Smith, who plays Mallory. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thank you. Thanks for that really kind introduction to the show. That's so kind of you. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm so into it. And here's the thing. It's like, I think I, in the beginning, I was like, am I too old for this? But no, because it's, <laughs> it's for everyone. It's such a twisted well done show how excited are you to be a part of something that everyone is buzzing about uh it's very surreal it, it's very odd to me <laughs> um it, it's it's amazing but it's it's definitely uh taking some time to get used to um i i keep like hearing from my friends saying that they're watching it it just seems like I, I've never received so many like texts saying that they're watching, that anybody's watching something that I did this much. So it, I'm very much like, what is going on? Um, but it, it's a, it's a great feeling too. Are these your new friends? Mallory Higgins. I didn't know you went shopping. We heard you make your own clothes. Well, I heard that you are officially boinking Jamie Henson. Bravo, really, job well done. Hey, Vince, was that on the list? All right, let's just go. We're just gonna go, all right? I'm just catching up with an old friend. Did you guys know that Jeanette used to be friends with us? Looks like someone finally got her cootie shot. So, you know, just between us friends, who's lying, Jeanette <laughs> or Kate? <laughs> <laughs> just between us <laughs> yeah, no one else no but i think it is you know it's twisted and juicy as it is because literally one episode i'm like oh jeanette's definitely innocent then i'm like oh no she's not you know it's it's so so good but i think it really for young people it does give a you know a really good glimpse into how difficult and hard it can be to be a young person today growing up absolutely the the issues that the show deals with are are so real um and it's pretty amazing how many different fields the show covers it's obviously about one huge major issue um pedophilia and abuse um but you know there's also a lot of different issues that 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 different characters deal with in the show um like coming out and um, poverty and um, I just, I mean, I just feel like the show addresses pretty much any conversation um, that you that you could be wanting to have, which I, I feel so grateful for um, that our show is so open and, and starts these important discussions. Um, I, it's really amazing. Let's talk about, you said coming out and I think with Mallory, your character, I think you know, she's obviously in this mode of exploration. I mean, she's a very young girl and, you know, kind of figuring herself out. For you as someone who is part of the LGBTQ community, how did you, how much did you identify with Mallory and, you know, some of the internal stuff that she's going through? I, I absolutely identify with her. Um, she, she never really comes out. Um, to anybody, uh, but it, it's always been clear to me, um, even before I, I really had discussions uh, with, the, with the showrunner and the producers about it, I always knew from the beginning that Mallory was absolutely queer. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it was, it's such a big part of who she is to me, um, is her queerness. 
and I, I identify with that completely. Um, I'm bisexual and I didn't really come out to anybody when I was in school either. I, I and I went to an all girls school. Um, so it wasn't like I was the only one, uh, but I just didn't really, I, I just never really came out to, to people and not really because I was necessarily scared or nervous to um, because, uh, you shouldn't be but um I just for some reason never really felt the need to to tell people I don't I don't know it just was never something I felt extremely inclined to do I don't even think I've directly said it to like my parents or anything either really um but I don't know I just didn't really like I I knew I was by from a super young age and mm -hmm. Um, Mallory, the same for her. She's definitely known she's queer for a very long time. And it's, it's interesting how both of us kind of had the same reaction of just like, well, it, I know this is me, but like, I, I, I don't know. We both didn't really tell people. <laughs> And, you know, and that's what we always say at GLAD, you know, when, when, we, when we talk about someone who's coming out, there are no rules. You do it how you want to do it. You do it when you feel safe, when you feel your own self-acceptance. So I think that's great. And, I, you know, with the power of representation and people and what people see on TV, I just imagine that with this show and someone like Mallory, who is, you know, obviously going through it and figuring out who she is, there's such power that young kids will see that and be like, you know what? Mallory like wants to be who she wants to be and so do I. And I think that there's total potential for that. I absolutely hope so. Um, and, and I feel I feel so grateful to have been able to, to portray that. But I think there's also another beautiful queer relationship on the show between Vince and Ben, which I feel like so mm -hmm. thankful for representing too, um, because I, I just, it makes me so happy that, that the LGBTQ community is so represented in our show, not just by one character, but by multiple characters, okay. um, which I feel like is not, I feel like sometimes shows or films or whatever are like, oh, okay, there's one queer person, that's enough, like, that counts, <laughs> right. like, check, uh, but with this, it's like a much more realistic look into what a teenage life would be like no there's not just like one queer person there are many queer people and like maybe not all of those people are out and you know the hope is everybody would feel comfortable to come out um and feel safe obviously that's a that's the most idealistic perfect scenario but that's not the case all the time and um like what you said everybody's coming out story is different and although it would be ideal for everybody to be able to, you know, be truthful and, and feel safe and good to come out. Like that's just not everybody's reality. So it's important to, you know, represent what it looks like from many different angles. So well said. And I, you're so, so young. You're are you 21, right? I'm 21, yeah. So thinking back, you know, because maybe there were, a lot of times I ask people that make these really great inclusive programs, like, you know, what would it have meant to you to have a show like this when you were young, you know, and so you're still very young. So what, did you find that there were shows that, or, or movies on TV, you know, or movies that you, you know, identified with and you said, you know what, like that's, I, I identify with that or that I, I feel like I'm, I'm okay now. Is there, was you, would you ever felt that? Cause I feel like a lot of people will have that reaction with this show. Uh, that I, I hope they have that reaction with the show. That would, that would mean so much. Um, I mean, I think there are definitely things throughout my my, my life where I'd, I'd watch it, like a, a relationship between two women or like two chicks making out and stuff. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> that's like, I, nice. I, yeah. I, I think like the very first time I ever was like, oh, um, was when I was, this is like the most random and I don't think I've ever said this to anybody, um, but um, I was <laughs> I was watching Best in Show um, when I was like 
10 <laughs> or younger and I don't even remember what what character what female characters kiss but I was just like um what's that <laughs> I was like oh my god did I that. I think I like that and then like when I like a few years later when I was watching Pretty Little Liars I was like oh okay <laughs> this, this all like this makes sense <laughs> um so I think just like seeing seeing gay relationships in film and tv and entertainment is just so important because a lot of a lot of young people will have those moments where they're just like oh <laughs> I think I like that no, I love that. I remember, first off, I need to go back and watch Bets and Show again because it's been a long time <laughs> and I didn't even remember that. And for me, I remember there was a movie in like 2000 or something called All Over the Guy that Dan Bukatinsky made. It has like Lisa Kudrow and I and I and same thing. I saw these two guys and I was like, hmm. No, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I understand this. I like this. I get it. So I, and thank you for sharing that story. Um, you know, thinking about this show, which you know, first season, such a buzz around it. As we head into the finale, which I'm like dying for, what, I, I don't, we can't spoil it, but what, what, you, what can you tell us about what's ahead? Are, is there a solution or will there be more questions? I'm sure it's all of that. <laughs> I think there are answers, but there are also questions. Um, it, it wraps some things up, um, okay. like with a nice bow, um, but then, but not everything. <laughs> that just means we have to have season two and three and four and five, right? <laughs> I, I, here's hoping. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, anyway, it's been a pleasure to chat with you. Such uh, congrats on this show. Thank you for sharing all of that too. And just a reminder, everyone, that Cruel Summer on Freeform is a uh, Tuesday nights at 10 and then Wednesday the next day on Hulu. So get ready for that finale because we're gonna get some answers, but then there's gonna be more questions. I am here for all of it. And I'm I'm definitely team Mallory. So <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'll um, talk to you really soon. Thank you so much for the time. <laughs>